to cross the juggler and by pushing down and pulling across it's making the artery close and the person's being choked out. You can see just that little bit and how fast he's putting on and you can see the effect of it. Okay, showing a little different angle. Okay, this is a Okay, and the direction on your arms, okay, on this one right here, what you do, you get both hands are in deep into the sides of the jugglers on both sides of the neck. Now what he's doing is he's grabbing and pulling straight down and crossing at the same time. And there he goes. Okay, that's a very important part of judo. If you can get a person in that position, you've won the match. If you make the person slap, the match is over. Okay, judo is a sport. And you know, it looks like it's pretty, uh, the flying around and everything like that, but what they're trying to do, if they take the person and throw them in a completely flat, uh, on their back, they get a full point, match completed. Okay, if they have a slight turn in their body or something, they might only get a half a point for that. They have to get a full point for the match to be over, and the other person the winner. Now, another way of winning is the chokes, which we just showed you. And just to go over this, we're going to go through an arm bar. An arm bar is another way of winning. What they're going to try to do is they try to get a hold of the person's arm. It's a little bit like wrestling, but uh, in the th if you don't really, until you have one applied to you, you'll have a, a full idea of what's really happening. It's all usually going strong against the joint. Okay, in this position right here, he locks the elbow, he's lifting on his arm and pushing down at the elbow at the same time. And as you can see, slaps, meaning submission. Now you have a choice, you either slap or it breaks your elbow. Okay. okay this can be applied in the judo contest and it's also used and could be used in self-defense. Somebody's coming at you with a punch or a grab or even a knife, you can take them away using that technique. Grab them, take them down, all the way to the ground and you have them. Okay, on the last part of this would be a hold down. And we're, just, we're kind of just going over this kind of quickly and we'll cover it in a little more depth in a little while, but I'm just kind of giving you a, a full cover of what it's all about. Now, if you can take the person like this and you get them down, and he's, let's say it's a partial throw, he's not all the way down, you drop down like this and get in on him, and there's various ones. This one right here, he's got him in a position that he can lock in and the person should not be able to get out. They can fight all they want, try to turn out of it. But if you do the technique right, you can just kind of relax and you have him right there. Now there's counters for this, but if he has it on right, it's very hard to get the counter. The person on top is usually in the driver's seat in this situation. Okay, another one. Another hold down would be something like this. Okay, he's locking his arms down like that. There's no turning. Can't, he can turn and fight all he wants, but uh, it's kind of a bad situation. Okay, I'm going to go over. Uh, we're going to go over like a, a slow free fighting and you can go over and where you'll be seeing how the different po things are applied. Let's say he might do a throw and maybe it doesn't turn out too good. He might go right into a choke. Okay, he's trying to set up, takes him down, then he drops down and lock. Okay. If he does try to get out of it, Dan try to get out, he gets to get out of it and go right into another technique. Let's say he breaks out of it. Maybe you might go into a choke. Right there, okay, slap. Match is over, okay? So as you can see, it's not just one thing. You, can, you have your full variety of things you can do, okay? Okay, we're gonna break down oh, yeah. and go into a, 
a few of the basic throw techniques. And we're gonna run these through pretty slow. And if you'd like to try a judo technique and you have some nice soft place to land, uh, not a hard floor, you might wanna try this. And you can always, you can always find somebody around the house that will be there to, <laughs> to be your, uh, what they say, uki, which means the guinea pig. Isn't that what that means in judo? <laughs> okay, so let's say here's a, a basic sweep. And what he's gonna do on this one, he's gonna come in, and now this, his weight is forward, so he's gonna kick that front foot and sweep it with his left foot, as he, or his right foot as he comes in. He slides into him, his balance is even. Now he's not pushing him, he's just taking the weight out of his front foot, and then down he goes. Okay, it's just like you have a house, and all of a sudden you take out one side of it, and what happens? The house falls over. Okay, so what you're trying to do is you slide in with your right, you slide in with your left, you take your right foot and kick the in back of the of his right leg out. Down he goes. Step in, slide in, and take. <coughs> Okay, this would be used in a self-defense situation as well as in a judo situation. Let's say you're in a, you know, somebody comes up in the street and they're grabbing a hold of you. You want to get out of there quick, you just come in, take them down. Time to leave. So, once you know how to do it, you can apply it in a lot of different ways. It's like chopping a tree down. The tree goes down, 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 and down it goes. Okay, that's a basic leg sweep, and it's done, done quite, quite easy. You're just taking the balance out of the front foot. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go into a, into a shoulder throw. Okay. And going through this and trying to set this up, now you're going to have to watch the feet movements on this. It's a little bit. It's not as easy to see when you're, when you're trying to go through it at home, probably, but watch the feet movements. How his feet, his body comes in. Let's try that one more time, and I'll break it down. Okay, he's here like this. He's stepping into him. He's stepping into his right foot. He's going to pivot on his ball of his right foot and come around. At the same time, he's grabbing the arm of the far side and turning the wheel. It's like he got a wheel of a car. You just turn it, and down he goes. You don't even think about him. It's all in the balance. He steps in, pivots his body towards him, locks the arm, drops his hips down, and down he goes. Okay, this could be used in a self-defense situation just as well, and you see this a lot. And uh, I think the, the Japanese in, in World War II had this technique down pretty well against the American soldiers, so it was something that uh, it's a, a basic technique, but very effective. So you're not strength. He's not taking the strength. He's gui guiding the strength. Okay? And let's see that again with, a, with an overhead strike. Let's say he's got a club and he's coming right at you. You're standing here like this. Here comes a club. You just guide him, and down he goes. Okay? So that's judo. And the way the judo is done in self-defense and sport. Okay, I think you are starting to hopefully get an idea of what you will see and what you can do in judo. Judo was really popular back in the early 50s and 60s, and it's not quite as, as many schools and many ways of doing it now, but it's, if, if more people had an idea of what they do and how it works, it works very good with wrestlers. If you're a wrestler and you learn judo, you've learned, you learn the balance and how to use the person's strength against them so well that you can very easily be a, be a champion in your sport. It works very well and very comfortably with wrestling. And uh, it's a, an, an exercise in balance, learning the control. You're not just because your person's smaller than the person that's attacking you, it doesn't matter, because you use his strength against him. And uh, I, I think you'll find that quite interesting. We're gonna go into